Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bottle Cutters Club by the Home Pro Shop, and it's me once again, Matthew Montanez. Today's gonna be a fun project. It's actually something a little different. It's really fun. You're gonna love it. It's a bird feeder. That's what we're gonna do today. We got our wine bottle here. It's just clean, took off the label. Um, I kind of did a little better job on taking off the label, but I want to get started on this project. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're going to need some wire, which I picked this up at the dollar store for a dollar. You get a bunch of different wires. I decided to go with these, these Velcro hangable strips. Uh, they're supposed to hold 16 pounds, so I thought that was enough. Thinking about doing this project because we're gonna cut off the base here, half the base suspended. We're gonna cut off the base here, have the base suspended with seeds in there. I felt like uh, tape, double-sided tape wasn't strong enough. Uh, a glue at an adhesive, it would be, take too long to glue down and try to get the wire to hold with that. And um, I didn't wanna drill a hole. I didn't wanna do nothing fancy like that. I felt like that was just gonna be too much work for us DIY guys, guys and gals to um, be doing this at home. You know, we just want to use stuff laying around the house and very cheap supplies that we can find anywhere. Then also got a key ring, which is going to be in here so it doesn't go through. So you just got to make sure it's big enough. And that's just so the bottle don't slip. And lastly, I figured I would use a washer for the bottom. Basically, I'm thinking tie the bottom of the wire here so it'll hold with the um, Velcro. We'll figure it out, right? <laughs> So let's get started. So the first thing, of course, we're gonna get our home pro shop bottle cutter here. Let me just get it set up and we're going to measure this bad boy to get an even score all the way around the bottle. This bottle looks a little funny. I hope I get a clean cut. I'm just gonna pound out some of that excess water there. And let's get a good measurement. And because we need like enough to hold the seeds, we're gonna go a little further down, probably right. Right there looks pretty good for me. So I'm gonna cut about right here off. And let's tighten that. And as always, when you get started with these projects, it's always good to put some ice cold water in your freezer so it's really, really cold. And then to have some water boiling already on your stove top. So then when you dip the score back and forth, it'll separate the bottle. I like to do mine in the very beginning before I get my supplies so it's ready to go and I don't have to wait too long. So here we go. So as always, you know, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna twist it towards me one revolution to get the score all the way around. Even pressure is the trick to get that done. And your left hand's really just gonna hold it against the base and make sure it stays steady um, so it doesn't get crooked or anything. Here we go. And then when you make it all the way around, you'll hear it, it falls in the notch and it'll feel different and sound different. And there we go, we're in that notch. So let's see if you can see that in the camera. There's one nice even score all the way around here. It goes all the way around. And we're gonna go get my water and we're gonna dip back and forth. All right, so we got our hot water here, it's steaming as always. And then we got our ice cold water here. And I like to start with the ice cold water first to dip it in, make the whole bottle cold. And just make sure the whole entire score is submerged. And that's the trick there. You want to keep it in there five, 10 seconds. You can go up to 15 if you like, just to be on the safe side. But that's the trick is just to make sure it's fully submerged. And I like to twist it a little bit to just make sure that whole score is in there correctly. And then you move to the hot water. And again, just make sure the entire score is submerged and you can count five, 10 seconds. And back to the cold water. Water does all the work, so you don't have to put any pressure to try to separate it or break it off. The water will do all the work for you. If it doesn't come off the first time, don't be afraid to keep going back and forth. Eventually, it'll separate. If you put your score correctly on there, it will separate. And we got it off. There we go, one nice clean cut. And same here, one nice clean cut all the way around. And that's exactly what you want. Like I said, the trick is the equal pressure when rotating it. Okay, so now is our trick for our assembly. Let's see if we can get this right our first shot, right? Before we actually assemble, you wanna make sure you sand the bottom here because the birds are gonna land on the base to eat their seeds. So you wanna make sure it's sand nice and smooth. My trick is I turn it upside down, put it down on the table and I can 
just twist it like that. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on this. Um, it's not a, a test of strength here. It's just really just making sure the sides are smooth. No sharp edges, just a little back and forth, clockwise, counterclockwise, just like this kind of motion. You just wanna fill it, make sure it's smooth all the way around, beautiful. And then you just wanna go around the sides one or two times. Now let's do this part. Don't want the birds hitting their heads and cutting themselves. <laughs> nice and smooth all right and let's get the assembly going so first I'm gonna get my wire and let's see if we can get this right let's pull out some of this wire here and let's go with this silver wire since it's the uh, first one I grabbed there let's see if I can uh, this down all right let's get a nice bit of it so I'm gonna re wire cutters um this wire is kind of thin so you probably can use any kind of cutters but uh I just happen to have wire cutters, so let's just cut it. Let's get the key ring on here. I'm thinking about right here, and it'll have this much to come out of the bottle, so then we can hang it. I don't want it hanging like too low. And then I'm just gonna wrap it a few times in there, make sure it's nice and tight and get a knot. Pretty much it. One more in there, go in the middle to get a knot in there, right? Let's stick this through, push it through here, and make sure it holds. So that doesn't go through, and that's what I was expecting. Nice and neat. So now when we hang it, you can hang it up there, it'll hold up. Pretty cool. Now let's get the hangables. Let's open these guys and see what we can do here. And these are supposed to hold 16 pounds, so I'm expecting it to work. <laughs> so basically, you got, it's like a Velcro thing, so it'll stick together. And all we need is a little piece on the base, right there. And I'm gonna use the, um, I guess the furry side here. So you're gonna need scissors for this project, so you can cut a little patch out from right there on the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Let's take off this uh, paper here so we can get the sticky side. Oh, that is the sticky side, all right. And let's just stick it to the base there. So it's just on the base. And it doesn't need to be perfect, I guess. Like, it just really needs to hold. <laughs> so let's get that base on there. And now let's get our washer. And let's measure this out. I'm hoping this works with this washer. I mean, the idea sounds right. We're gonna go up. We want the base to be about here suspended, I'm gonna guess. Let's go around it. And I'm gonna go to around both sides so it'll hold flat. So we'll go around this side. And then I'm gonna go around the other side. And then if you want, you can go back up, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna go back up to this key ring and I'm just going to twist it around just so it stays flat, like I was thinking. Let's go around. Let's go around one more time. This is my first time doing this. So if you guys have a better way, feel free to um, comment below and let me know a better way that's cost efficient and doesn't require any kind of power tools or drills because that's my purpose or at least my focus on this project is I didn't want to have to drill a hole. I wanted just cheap supplies that most likely you have around the house. Like, you know, you might have a wire hanger lying around or you can run to the dollar store and grab this cheap wire that I found. Uh, key rings usually lying around the house. You probably have like a thousand of them on your keys. Sorry, I should have it up here so you guys can see me fiddling with it, trying to get both ends through here. And I kind of want the both ends because I want it um, easy to hang up. Oh my 
we're gonna get the second in here. Let's grab these scissors, see if we can grab it with the scissors. The fingers are a little too big for that small hole. Okay. Beautiful. And let's get the uh, other half, which is here. And let's, uh, maybe I should have measured them together. <laughs> Probably so. Let's cut it in half. Let's take off the sticky part. Let's put it at the bottom of our washer here. And then I'm just going to fold it up and around. Go down with it. And now let's just stick it on here. And just put a little pressure so it holds. And there we go. So let's get a little bird seed in there and see if it'll help straighten it out with some weight and balance. I got some bird seed here too. So that's always cool. Straighten this wire a little bit. And there we go. So that looks great. So let's hang this outside actually and see how it looks outside. I am outside hanging up as you can see and it looks great. Just gotta straighten it a little bit. Maybe twisting and braiding the wire would help it. There you go. And to all you crafters out there, I hope you had fun with this project or you take a chance at it and probably find a little better way to get that wire to stay straight. Uh, mine's a little crooked, but I think it came out great. Like I said, I might just braid it through and um, maybe it'll keep it straight since it'll be a lot stiffer because this wire is a little thin and it's easy to bend and manipulate, which is actually a good thing too. So maybe just add a little more wire and braid it and it'll help out a lot. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Also, make sure you join our Facebook group. There's other crafters out there giving tips, tricks, hints, and also sharing their great projects. And you can share yours too. Something I like to ask everybody also, and just feel free to drop a comment below is, what wine bottles are you guys using? You know, what wine are you drinking? What bottles are you using? I'm just very interested so I can try it out. Maybe I'll get a better cut, or maybe you guys have wider bottles that are um, actually fun to use. Uh, give me some ideas for new projects and tricks. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment below. If you want to just say hi, drop a comment also. And don't forget to give us that thumbs up. As always, keep crafting. Until next time.